But we're at camp, give you a little uh, idea of where we're located. That's what we're sleeping in the metal trailer. We'll ride about six hours to where we're gonna start hunting. And uh, that's where the generator is. There's the horses. Okay, we're at about 14,000 feet. I don't know, maybe four or five miles from base camp. and Marco Polo sheep. A few birds. Into this big old giant bowl or valley. And uh, it's just beautiful. And we've seen oh, more than a hundred Marco Polo. And, uh, let me see if I can focus in on or zoom in on that back there. Just mountains in the back. And, We've been riding oh, about five, six hours since, uh, since we left camp. That's just all snow covered. Here's our horses. That's our head guide. <laughs> and I imagine this valley is just covered in water in the spring. or yaks we're very close to camp too they usually have a yak boy I guess or a cowboy out on a horse watching them. these two are just resting I'm on the horse that's the reason why this is bouncy but there's your yak okay and what's her name again name Medina Medina, Medina. Samak. Samak Samak and yours Tori Tori and that's it, cut. Okay. And this is the crazy guide. <laughs> well, it's 5:15, and uh, we've been riding since oh, around 8, 8:30 this morning, and uh, we've had, we've been off the horses probably. Oh. 30, 45 minutes of that time. Um, here's the rest of the yak herd that that they're raised around here. There's the old outhouse. That's not what they call it, though. Uh, that's where we'll be staying. Half the house is kind of fixed up nice for the hunters. The other half is for the people that live here and and uh, that's where they keep the horses and stack up the yak turds which as you can see is probably what they do their cooking with because there is not one stinking tree in this whole country it doesn't look like but uh, that's the river down there and the 
that part of the river is flowing. You can see the water. Uh, most of it that we've been crossing has been covered with ice. Okay, we spotted a, spotted a Marco Polo ram in that little brown triangle, the far right side of that brown triangle. <laughs> it's too far to zoom, but we're going to go over and get a better look. I Here's kind of... Uh, through Oh. 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 Well, this is where, well, the way we found it, it rolled down the hill. Hi, I'm Shane McClung. I'm hunting here in Kyrgyzstan, the eastern side near China. This is Omerbeck, the head guide his brother, his son, and his two assistant guides. Uh, we shot this ram at uh, about 12 o'clock uh, with the LR-1000 made by Gunworks. I bought this hunt uh, through the Dallas Safari Club convention and uh, it was donated by Pat Latham with uh, High Mountain Hunts and we still got a mid-Asian Ibex to hunt, but this is day seven and we're happy to get this ram on the ground. Thanks. Okay. We're good. Okay. And, uh, oh, good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let me.